And now the details. The source of the Zambezi River has, for the first time in history, dried up. Poshalala recently visited the source in Ikelenge district and found that water is no longer flowing from the point where the Zambezi River starts from. We have the details in this report. It has never happened before, at least in living memory of this life as we know it. In fact, no one remembers such a thing ever happening. And this has happened at a time when water levels are supposed to be at their highest on account of the good rains experienced. But this is not so. The source of the Zambez River is dry. A dry patch now meets the eye from this spot where the Zambez River used to ooze from. In happier times, this was the first sighting of the river as it creeps from this undergrowth to form a rivulet and then it disappears to creep back in visible patches here and there. This dry patch is also the reason why this place is protected. It is also the reason why these beautiful walkways were made to come to see this phenomenal spot. This same spot is also the reason why this infrastructure was put up. So what could have happened here? Even Willich Wire, the conservation assistant who has been manning this place for over 10 years, has never seen anything like this before. And this is actually the first year that we are experiencing this. this uh, around no, no, this is the first time. This is the first time, yes, because around this time we're supposed to have water here. Um, this is the first time that uh, this is happening. And the traditionalists have an explanation. The source of the Zambez River is protected by the National Heritage and Conservation Commission. The area, which is 36 hectares, has been declared a national forest in order to preserve the source. However, this year has been full of surprises. The water table that has really gone down. Um, in terms of rains, it hasn't rained too much like it has been raining previously. So, uh, in short, uh, may I say the water table is uh, down, but there's still water here. Uh, 300 meters from here, you can see water coming out from this same point. So that you can see it at the source, uh, it's just the table that is a bit low, but there's still water underground there. The Lunda-speaking people are the owners of this land, the source of the river Zambezi. The Lundas called the river Yambezi, but the white man opted to call it Zambezi. Actually, the Republic of Zambia derives its name from the Zambezi River. In the years before the source of the river became a national heritage site, the Lundas considered the area as a shrine. They used to come to this place to perform rituals. And then came the white man. Where you where there's the monument, that place was like a, some kind of a hospital where the sick were brought for healing. What used to happen was um, the ancestors would come down here, uh, get a few leaves, get the water mixed together. Then they give those herbs to the people that uh, were at the camp there. And those people were healed. But there were certain restrictions uh, that um, we are not following right now. That's why this place is no longer a shrine. People that were allowed to come here for men, men are supposed to be circumcised. Women who have never had sex during the, day, the daytime, where those kind of people were the ones that were allowed to come into this forest. Senior headman Mukangala lives a few meters away from the source of the Zambezi. During the colonial era, he used to be chief kabanda, but in 1947, he was degazetted on account of not having enough people in his chiefdom. Today, senior headman Mukangala feels the drying up of the source of the river is a case. Before the wise started visiting this area in the 1920s, the villagers used to perform a ceremony called Musolu. In this ritual, they prayed, asking the gods for good rains. But now, they no longer perform it. When we start the ceremony, it was like the way people worship God. 
All the village men like I stayed here will be called for this special ceremony. What used to happen is when we arrive at that ceremony, everybody would be very, very happy because they will be worshipping to their God. What you are seeing is a traditional cup that uh, was used for drinking. I'm sure that is beer. This one was used for drinking herbs when we are sick. The bigger one would be for water. This one, you are today are calling it a small pot. We also say a small pot for cooking. The Musoro ceremony, like many other cultural activities of this nature, is performed once a year. Senior headman Mukangala now recalls how it was done. Now tell God that whatever we've planted, please may it grow well. You've already had one bed, so you'll be planting on that bed on that same day. Then ask God to bless whatever we are doing. But all is not so dry at the source of the Zambezi. 300 meters away from the actual source, there is some activity. This small brook of water is the first sign that the Zambezi River still runs here. And it is as they say, that big things sometimes start very small. These are the humble beginnings of the Zambezi before it starts its long winding journey to the Indian Ocean. The Zambezi River grows in size and flows to the Kaleni Hills within Ikerenge district before it crosses into Angola. While in Angola, the Zambezi grows into size and stature as more and more rivers pour into it and for flowing for 240 kilometers, the Zambezi River gets bigger and bigger before entering Zambia. I'm standing at the border between Zambia and Angola here in Chavuma district, northwestern province. Behind me is the point where the Zambezi River leaves Angola and enters into Zambia. A few meters after entering Zambia, the Zambezi passes a place called Lingeringenda in Chavuma. Here, there are rapids and natural swimming pools popular to young people. From here, the Zambezi flows swiftly and southwards towards Chavuma Boma and forms another set of rapids which plunge into Chavuma Falls. The Zambezi then continues on its southern journey to western province, down to Mozambique, and finally into the Indian Ocean. All along its 3,540 km stretch, the Zambezi is a lifeline for millions of people in southern Africa. But it is the new developments at the source of the Zambezi that are worrisome. Does this drying have any effect on this mighty river? I must believe that it is that uh, there hasn't been just good rains. Because if you can see the status of the road, it's still very good. Uh, but usually around this time, it's a lot of trouble. But now it's like it's still okay. I'm sure it is. Uh, we are doing enough rains. The Zambezi is a source for all sorts of things. The river is a source of transport food and employment in Zambia, Angola, Botswana, Namibia and Mozambique. It is also a major source of electricity for these countries due to its many waterfalls and dams which produce hydropower for domestic and industrial use. Poshalala, Zerumbisi News in the Northwestern Province.